If your organization uses HubSpot as your CRM and you want to be able to send a document for signature via DocuSign without having to copy paste manually your information in your template, then this video is for you because I'm going to go over the two types of DocuSign for HubSpot integrations that you can create, how to set them up, and what are the pros and cons of each method. The two methods are the DocuSign for HubSpot integration, so that's the standard one, and you can set up quite easily directly in HubSpot after going to the app marketplace. And then there's the custom integration you can set up using a platform like Zapier or make.com. And that's going to give you much more flexibility. Let's start by setting up the DocuSign for HubSpot integration, the standard one. Head to the data management tab and then integrations. From here, visit the app marketplace. And then you can just look for the DocuSign app. Then just install standard DocuSign app here. You're going to have to authenticate your account. Then you want to go to the actions and then go to your settings. From here, go to property mappings. And this is where you'll be able to map your HubSpot data with your DocuSign fields so that you can create ready to sign documents. So we're going to use this NDA as the example. And what we need here is to have the name of the company to whom we're sending this NDA to and their full address. So we want to merge two fields from our HubSpot data into this DocuSign template. So once you've set up your DocuSign template, what you want to do is to create some custom fields. I've created two fields. So here, as you can see, I've got HubSpot company name and I've got this field called company full address. So if we go back to HubSpot, we want to be able to map our HubSpot data to those DocuSign fields inside of our template. And before I forget, if we haven't met before, hi, my name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solisan Consulting. Back in 2019, I was a DocuSign implementation consultant working for DocuSign themselves. And since the beginning of 2020, I founded Solisan Consulting, where we help organizations drowning in paperwork, automate document workflows. So if your company deals with lots of paperwork, you can save hundreds of hours automating the boring things like manual document creation. But for this, you need to first map out your workflow, then set up your DocuSign template, learn how DocuSign works, and then integrate those templates with the apps that you use every day. So if you don't want to struggle on your own, you can book a strategy session using the link just down below with one of our document automation consultants. During the call, we will map out your process and suggest the best implementation plan for your unique needs. But let's go back to the HubSpot integration topic. So what we need to do is first choose from which HubSpot object are we going to send this document? And that's actually the first problem because with the standard DocuSign for HubSpot integration, you can only map information coming from one object at a time. So with this simple NDA, that's okay. But if we want to create more complex documents like this quote where you want to merge not only the company name, but you also want to add more product inside of a dynamic table. You're going to have to set up a custom integration, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, let's just go back to our HubSpot integration. We're going to choose company because that's where we want to send the NDA from and add a new mapping. My company name is already mapped. So you can see this column here shows you the list of all the DocuSign fields. And so if we go back to our DocuSign account here in our custom field, we can find in here our company's full name, which is here, hey, HubSpot company name. So I've already gone ahead and added my field on my document here. And those fields automatically appear inside of your DocuSign account as soon as you set up the integration. However, we don't have the company's full address natively created when we set up the integration. So I had to create my company full address text field here which I've already added here. And then as soon as I do that, it shows up in the list of fields that I can map things to. So here I'm simply going to map my full address to my HubSpot field called full address. Let me just show you company's full address, which is just a custom property that I've created inside of the company object. I'm going to click on save. Now let's try to send this NDA for signature directly from the HubSpot company object. So we are already looking at the company object here and we just want to look for the DocuSign integrations tab. If you don't see this tab, you just need to click on customize record and here make sure that you have added the DocuSign tab. 
which you can only find if you click on apps and then check this DocuSign integration box. So here I'm just going to click on create new and then select the template that I want to use to generate those documents. My template instead of my DocuSign account is called NDA DocuSign HubSpot Demo. So that's the template that I'm going to use here. So NDA HubSpot Demo and then create envelope. We're gonna click on recipients and then here for the signer's information, I've got two recipients inside of my template. So if we go back one step here, we can see that we have the uh, signer one and signer two. And signer two's name and email is already hard coded in the DocuSign template. However, we need to map the signer one because we may have more than one contact linked to that company in our HubSpot CRM. I'm just going to choose this contact here. And then in document fields, here is where I can pull the data from HubSpot inside of my DocuSign template. So we have the company full address and HubSpot company name. So the only thing that I need to do here really is to click on apply all suggestions and then click on review. And as you can see, the data is now being pulled from HubSpot and it's pre-filled. And this is what I'm able to preview here. I'm going to click on send. We can see here that the status of these DocuSign envelopes says sent. So let me just go ahead and sign this envelope. Here's the DocuSign notifications. Now here, let's just imagine that I want to change something. Let's just say that the address is not correct. Let's just say that the company's address is one, two, three, main street, and then whatever. Let's just finish and sign. The problem with that standard integration is that this information is not going to synchronize back inside of your HubSpot fields. So you're gonna have to copy paste the information provided by the signer back inside of HubSpot manually. I've now signed the documents and yes, the status of this envelope is now completed. But again, the address that I've entered inside of my document hasn't been updated. You can see that's the old address. The other problem that I have here is that the document has not been attached automatically for me. So if I want to attach the signed documents, I have to click on save as attachment and only then we can see it here. So that's how the standard DocuSign for HubSpot integration works in a nutshell. And it's good if you want to map data from HubSpot inside of DocuSign fields, which are just text fields. But sometimes you might want to map data to drop down fields or check boxes or radio buttons inside of your DocuSign template. And you're not going to be able to do that with the standard DocuSense for HubSpot integration. And again, the problem is that if we want to map data from more than one object at a time, so from maybe contacts or from tickets or from deals in the same document like you would in this custom proposal, then it's not possible. You can only generate a static document. And so it's not a big deal if you have very simple documents like the NDA that I was using before, but if the layout of the document that you need to create changes a lot, like for this proposal, for example, where we need to have a dynamic number of rows, depending on how many products are added to the deal. And maybe we have some conditional sections of text. So only if we sell this product here, we want to add this section of text instead of our document. That's going to be an issue with the standard DocuSend for HubSpot integration. But if you go with a custom integration, then you're no longer bound by the limitations of the standard DocuSend for HubSpot. You can use either a DocuSign template or you can use another type of template. It does not matter. For example, in this template here, which is the consulting agreement we get all our customers to sign. If we sell to our clients, I don't know, let's just say five templates. We need to have a table here that contains all the line items that we're selling. And then we also need to have another table that describes for each template, what is that template? How many fields? What are the documents in the template? Who is going to be signing the documents? And so this is something that you cannot achieve with the standard DocuSign for Hotspot integration. The reason we're not doing this inside of DocuSign directly, but using DocuPilot is because at the time DocuSign didn't have document generation available, but maybe for your organization, it will make more sense to build everything directly inside the DocuSign system. The other thing that I really like about custom integrations is that when your signers will enter information inside of your form fields in your document template, that information will update your HubSpot fields. So again, in this example here, I've changed the address when I've signed the document inside of DocuSign. 
and I would normally need to copy the information entered by the signer. So one, two, three main street. I will need to copy this and then I would have to paste it back here. But this is not something that I want to do manually. I want to do that automatically. And so the standard DocuSend for HubSpot integration doesn't give you that, but the custom does. Those are the two different ways that you can set up your integration between DocuSign and HubSpot. Again, if you don't want to struggle on your own, you can book a strategy session using the link just down below. During the call, we'll analyze your situation and propose the best implementation plan for your unique needs. I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy signing. Ciao.